Well, there's no peace in this house of worship. New Era Detroit stages a protest that turns into a brawl. That video right there has since gone viral. Now, this is the same church that recently hosted Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump. But this protest is about more than just politics. Fox News' Randy Wimley live now with the exclusive story. Randy. Hey yeah, guys, this has a lot more to do than just politics. New Era Detroit, they call it church accountability. Taking congregations to task for not serving the community in their estimation as those churches should. They say something doesn't add up when a pastor makes a lot of money, drives a luxury car, and yet the people who live near his church are in poverty. <laughs> A scuffle inside the sanctuary after New Era Detroit protests during a worship service. Bro, let me go, man. Let's go. Let's go. Zeke, the leader of the group, offered no apologies for the dust up at Great Faith Ministry Saturday, only the reasoning behind it. This situation is bigger than just Wayne T. Jackson. This is about black churches and black pastors who live a lavish life on behalf of the people and they're not giving back to their community. He's referring to Bishop Wayne T. Jackson, the wealthy pastor that welcomed Donald Trump drives a Rolls Royce and lives in a mansion. Zeke was there for the offering Saturday. When they started the offering at a thousand dollars and then they said if you don't got a thousand dollars then do 300 and if you if you if you don't got if you don't got cash then we got ATM machines. I don't understand that logic. I don't understand that way of thinking and I don't understand that to be what religion is. New Era Detroit says the neighborhood surrounding Great Faith Ministries is by and large impoverished. This guy has networks, churches, fancy cars, you know what I mean, million dollar houses and it's babies in this community that's going without food at night. Somebody has to be frustrated about this enough to do something that will get people's attention and that's what New Era Detroit did. Here's the thing. Pick up the phone. Call. Right. I want to talk to you, Apostle. Right, right. Apostle's a very fair man. He would meet with you. He would talk to you. What's your issue? But to do it that way, that is so disrespectful. And members of Great Faith Ministry say New Era Detroit has their church and their pastor all wrong. I bet you give away homes, yeah. cars. They say he's an astute businessman. Juanita Kinney says he's one with a heart of gold. And when he found out that I didn't have anywhere to live, within an hour he was calling me back telling me to go and look at an apartment. And because of that, and because of the love from him and his wife, I now have my own place. You should talk to people that, he, that, that he's hired. Ex-cons, people that were in prison. Mm. He's done so much work for this community. Their homes that he's bought and gave to people. But Zeke don't know that. Many feel New Era Detroit crossed the line and violated a sacred space. They even drew comparisons to Dylan Roof, the man who walked into a church service and gunned down nine people in Charleston, South Carolina. They can't come in here and think they're going to take over our service, have our women and children, mothers up in here terrified. And they're talking about that they are out there protecting the community. This is a community up in here. Yes, right. Hindsight is 2020. Given um, all this being said, Said, would you do it all over again? Absolutely. We would definitely do it all over again. Would we tweak something? Absolutely. We, we, we would probably tweak up a few things and change it, but going back, no. We, we would definitely go in there again, and they better get their act together because we just might be back. Even so, the leader of New Era Detroit says he is open to having a sit down with Bishop Wayne T. Jackson and the pastors of other churches that New Era Detroit has protested. Stay tuned. You, Taryn? Well, Randy, I mean, $1,000 is a lot of money to ask for an offering, but you said about a conversation, but what does the New Era group want the bishop to do, and what do they plan to do if he doesn't? Well, well you heard uh, just in that last soundbite, they may show up here again. We don't know if that's going to happen, but he said that's, that's something that they're definitely open to. But New Era Detroit, they say they want to see churches um, doing more to better serve and improve the living conditions of the communities in which those churches are in. And so th this is a story that raises a lot of questions about the function of a church. Uh, what does a local congregation owe the community that it's in? And so New Era Detroit, they're definitely raising that issue. They say there are some churches that are doing a good job of this, but in their estimation, there are many that are not great faith ministries being one of them. It is certainly interesting because we know he's not the only rich preacher out there. So uh, obviously more to come on this one. Thanks, Randy.